Hey guys, so in the last two videos we have done the Kafka setup part, we have done the Apache root setup part and now in this particular video we will be going to set up the Redash uh, for the reports for the reporting purpose and by the way if you don't know Redash, like Redash is, uh, is, an, is an open source project and they have their own enterprise version as well where uh, you can create your reports, you can share those reports and uh, I mean it gives you a pretty much uh, 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 intuitive and easy way to create those reports and connect uh, various data source uh, to, to this particular uh, Redash application. So you can you can connect your MongoDB, you can connect your uh, Postgres, you can connect your different different data sources I and mean, there are a lot of data sources that are available uh, in this Redash so connect. So we, for our purpose we will be going to use Apache Dude uh, to connect we will going to connect that apache root with the redash so for this uh, i am going to do this setup on my virtual machine as as i have done in the last two videos so for this uh, for the setup part i have this uh, i got this repository this is the official redash repository uh, uh, which you can use to uh, set up the root in a in a very fast way like you, all you have to do is you have to run a simple script the setup.sh and it will going to spin up the docker container for the redash onto your uh, machine so uh, let's just clone this uh, we have to clone this repository on our uh, virtual machine and then we will going to run the script and we will be able to access the redash okay for this let's head back to terminal so i have to look for my terminal yes so i can get the terminal from here let me do ssh onto my virtual machine now let's do git clone okay great the app repository has been cloned if i do docker ps i should be seeing my all the uh, services running like my uh, kafka is there and my uh, druids druid is also there so everything is there now uh, we can go inside this repository that we clone setup and all we have to do is I have to run this setup.sh okay I have to give the uh, executable permission chmod setup.sh let me clear this and let's run this uh, setup.sh treat so it is doing its task like setting up all the prerequisite and then uh, it will going to set up the docker version and docker images for all those uh, redash containers so this is the very first time i'm running this uh, redash setup into this particular machine that's why like it is doing all this stuff but if you have already uh, previously run this this setup script uh, in the past then it will not be going to do these many steps Okay, so it downloaded the docker compose.yaml file and now uh, it is going to start those uh, docker services, docker containers. So it is pulling the images and then uh, we should be good to go. And uh, by the way, there is one uh, like uh, there is one uh, thing that you have to keep in mind while running the script. That this script uh, makes some modification to a bash rc file and uh, if you don't revert those modifications what will be going to happen is that in future if you try to run any docker based application using a docker compose it will be going to add some prefix redash prefix and as well as it is going to point to that redash file so every time even if you try to run your docker uh, compose file it will be going to run it's uh, this redash docker file so i will show you that part like where you have to 
do the uh, modification in order to revert, revert back your uh, that bash rc file so now uh, let's check if the container is up and running. so container is up and running now uh, we can go to the browser and uh, let i have to grab the ip address and this red ash runs on port 5000 so let's wait okay so the initial setup screen is here and now uh, let's provide those uh, details like the name as admin email as admin at the rate admin.com and the password as uh, one two three four five six organization name you can give anything i mean give org yes so it's starting up yeah. so it has started and now uh, we have to follow these four steps ideally we have to actually we have to follow these three steps only uh, this is option like invite your team members this is we are not going to do we are first going to connect our data source then we have we are going to write some queries and after that we are going to create a dashboard so first let's connect our data source so click on this and here you can see you are getting a bunch of options like you can attach these many data sources you can uh, azure elastic search service you can use azure data services big queries there cassandra is there cockroach db is there almost all the major data pro providers are there like data sources are there you can use any one of your choice if you are using the redash separately but in our case we are using Druid, so i'm going to search for Druid. there it is and now uh, i have to give this any name so let me call it as my uh, let's call it as uh, Kafka, uh, Drew, Redash, because we our data is flowing in this manner, so that's why like I have pointed this, and now the scheme is going to be HTTP. This part we have to uh, provide the uh, Drew's endpoint, so we can get the. I mean, we have essentially put we have to essentially put the IP address of our virtual machine followed by the port and then i can click on create okay so it gave us error we have to put the port i guess this mandatory let's save this test the connection yes so the connection is successful now we can verify this once more i mean so we have our connection is successful now uh, what we can do is we have to Go to the next step which is creating up the query so go to this create option and then queries and then you should be able to see all the data sources that are available in our druid so we if you remember we imported this humidity uh, topic sound topic and the temperature topic as well so i'm going to use those uh, uh, here like those data, data sources here and let's try to create simple reports i mean reports you can create uh, according to your need but for the simplicity i'm going to create some simple reports so uh, let's do select star select star from uh, this table temperature let's try to execute this okay. we got the data we got the records and now uh, we can to create the graph we have to click on this visualization click on this and it will open this editor in where you can provide your uh, uh, details here so if you want to give any name to this particular chart you can provide the name here so i'm i can give this chart name as my temperature chart or my yes my temperature chart should be fine and uh, i want to create a line chart you, you can get uh, options here i want to create a line chart on the column what value i want to keep on the x column means on the x-axis so i want to have my time on the x-axis and on the y-axis i want to have the values and uh, we are getting this data bit messy 
let's do a group by and uh, let's do the group by using the devices yes so we were having four five devices on uh, not five six devices onto our system so that's why like we are getting different different colors for each and individual uh, device and now normalize to percentage value no we don't have to normalize click on save yes so this visualization has been saved now in the similar way let's create a visualization for the humidity and the sound as well humidity let let's click on execute okay so it, it just updated this part uh, uh, let's not do like this let's keep this and uh, let's execute because you have to publish this first so here you can see the publish and you can give the query name here as well so for let me give this as temperature query temp query for temperature and let me just save this and let me just now uh, i think yeah, this has been published now it's yeah, this is published now uh, uh, let's create the dashboard now for this particular uh, query so click on this dashboard and uh, i can give this dashboard as iot dashboard because we are simulating the iot workflow iot dashboard and uh, here what i can do i can do add widget i can select my query and then i can choose my chart here i want to show the chart not the table so if i click on this chart uh, this should be added here and i can just make this a bit bigger yeah, this seems fine uh, now click on done editing let's publish this as well so now uh, let's create the queries for uh, other uh, topics as well other tables as well so select star from i want to select star from humidity execute this okay and uh, let's do one more thing uh, let's 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 do this from here for this part let's create a different type of chart let's uh, create the what let's try to create the area chart let's see how that looks so on the x chart i want to have my time on the y chart i want to have my uh, values but let's and we have to do the group by as well so this gives an as an area uh, yes this is this is also fine now uh, we can click on the save and let me just uh, actually I have to modify this as well so let's try to modify this as well so let's click on edit visualization and I have to give the name to this chart so uh, I want to give this name I want to give humility as a name humility Humidity chart. Fine. Seems fine. Okay. Let's name the query as humidity query. Dispelling humidity query. Okay. This is also fine. So now we go to a dashboard. I don't want to create a new dashboard actually. I want to go to the dashboards and let's click on this favorite so that it should be available here uh, let's try to add that uh, chart to this dashboard go here on the three menu click edit now we can add this new uh, query so i want to do humidity query and then i want to show this humidity chart click on add and let's add the table for that as well here so humidity query go to the table and choose the table click on add to dashboard so we can see the table here as well let's reduce the size of this possibly if that is available yes so this is done click on finish yeah 
so this is done now we you can share this i mean url with i mean you can share the the url for the reports to anyone and they can uh, simply able to view those view, view these uh, reports without any login or anything so if, if 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 you click on this allow public access you will be going to get this address just copy this and if you open this onto the new window new browser window you should be seeing that we can see the data here we are getting the data here you can do the refresh as well uh, i think the refresh is kind of available from here only is the refresh can be done from here if you want to get the latest data, you can do the refresh here so so that's all for this we have uh, completed the entire flow of this uh, whole uh, video series that was uh, we started from setting up that kafka and then we ingested the kafka data to the to the apache druid and simultaneously our application our client application was generating data on the different different kafka topics and those uh, data in the real time was uh, consumed by the druid applications and from there uh, we set up the redash and then in the redash we are able to use that uh, data from the group uh, and then like we are uh, we created those reports and then we can show you those report links with anyone so that's all for this i will see you in the next video